Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna go continue with meatloaf. Meatloaf. This right. is the actual makeup that meatloaf wore in his video. I do anything for love. How about that? And here's the script for the the uh, the video. And there's I got that from the makeup artist himself. Uh, this uh, script to the movie Fight Club is also autographed by Brad Pitt and Edward Norton Jr. Okay. Uh, behind here, this is uh, Meatloaf's junior yearbook. And in front of it's the acetate for two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a jacket that Meatloaf wore on stage in 1978 when he sang Paradise by the Dashboard Light. This is one of uh, six Bad Out of Hell 2 uh, leather jackets. Oh my God. Embroidered and beautiful. That's awesome. Did we just pick it up and wear it out one, one of these days or you just kind of leave it here? I just leave it that. I wore this one before. I, yeah. I wore this to a meet and greet when, yeah. when I got to meet Meatloaf. But uh, uh, if you look up here, he signed all my stuff. There, there, there's a picture of me. When, before Bad Out of Hell 2 came out, uh -huh. he played this little bar in Daytona Beach. And that, that that's me and Meatloaf uh, right up there. And that's when he, when he signed the... Uh, nice. An old Polaroid. Yes, Polaroids. That, that, Remember that, those? That, 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 that's dating me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but if you come down here, I, I have one of the largest meatloaf collections. Uh, every CD single. Uh, this is signed by uh, the band. These drumsticks here were used when Meatloaf played President Clinton's inaugural ball. Um, if you come over here, this is a uh, playbill from a play Meatloaf did uh, in 1973. And if you look, Raul Julia was the lead in that. No kidding. Uh, here's a Christmas card when they released Ben Out of Hell. <laughs> and you've got the bat out of hell bat. <laughs> yeah, of course. And uh, I actually saw them open for ELO in Toronto, which was one of the best concerts of my That's life. That's 78 or 79? Uh, 78, I believe it was. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I saw them in Toronto and uh, Meatloaf opened for ELO, and that's when they hit the spaceship. It was yeah. uh, amazing. Yeah. So if you come up here, you got stuff signed by Toto. This is signed by Phil Collins, uh, Mike Rutherford, and Tony Banks of Genesis. Those are autographed by Phil Collins. Uh, this is autographed by everybody in Asia. And the like, band, not the not the continent. Not the continent, the <laughs> band, yes. That would uh, be a pretty big uh, uh, thing to sign, I would Car imagine. Car Carl Palmer autographed drumstick in there. Uh, drummers are cool. They, 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 they don't have business Some cards. Some of us are, yes, they, absolutely. They, 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 they don't have uh, uh, business cards. They have little drumsticks they give people. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this drumstick collection. Too many to name. But... Uh oh, you got everybody. Ian Pace, uh, yeah. Charlie Watts, uh... There's Scott Rockefeller, uh, Steve Smith, uh, Vinny Paul, uh, Artemis Pyle, uh, Chester Thompson. Uh, it keeps going and going and going and going. You got going Jerry Bazio, Mark, Mike Portnoy, yep. uh, Alan White, uh, Simon Phillips, yep. uh, Liberty DeVito, Kenny Aronoff, Bobby Rock, uh, Billy Cobham, Jason uh, Bonham. All the, our heroes the, being the, drummers. The, this is signed by Stevie Nicks. Didn't know Stevie was a drummer. That's kidding. Wow, she's a percussionist. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here's some concert used uh, Bunny Carlos. This is more of the cheap trick stuff. With a couple of passes, uh, picks, and uh, drumsticks, and set lists as well. This is a uh, a signed uh, when, when the Blister Cult released A Long Day's Night, which is her DVD. Uh, this artist, I know I uh, did it. I got it signed by Eric Bloom, Alan Lanier, who passed, and uh, Buck Dharma. Yep. Uh, it's signed by Cheap Trick. This is signed by Nick Mason of Pink Floyd. And there's Nick's drumsticks in there. Sweet. Uh, Down here. You got, uh, that's the new cars with uh, uh, Todd Rundgren. Rundgren and Prairie Prince, who played with the tubes, yep. uh, uh, toured with them, and uh, got, got his drumstick there. Cool. Uh, Paul Rogers of Bad Company. Mm -hmm. uh, April Wine, Emerson Lake and Palmer. And if you come around the corner, okay, you got Jack Russell's concert worn uh, great His white pants, pants, which I hope were not soiled at least at any time, you know. <laughs> and then over here, it's a nice Alice Cooper Be Still Blanco shrine. Yeah, Nancy, uh, Nancy did all the photography for uh, this album uh -huh. for the band and, and these posters. Uh, Calico Cooper, Alice's daughters in the band, and uh, Chuck Garrett, the bass yep. player, is uh, as well the as two main members, Chris, hey, Chris Latham, and uh. This is an actual outfit that Calico wore on tour with her father on the cool. Brutal Planet tour. Awesome. And of course the Hollywood Vampires, the new band. Oh yeah, together. Na 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 Nancy got to go to uh, that uh, at the Whiskey, I believe it was. Yep. Wow. Lenny, 
Well, you're not quite done yet. No, we're not. Maybe, 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 man, maybe. it still goes. You know, this is this is just again so impressive. I can't even I can't even imagine that there's more. But wait, there's more. There's more. This is signed by the original Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Okay. And then we continue up the stairs. This is signed by Rick Springfield. This is a custom Rick Springfield guitar. Wow. I will try to catch as much of a long shot as possible so I can get the full effect and how impressive this collection is. Uh, the uh, top poster signed by Stephen Stills of Crosby, Stills & Nash, and this one's signed by Graham Nash. Yeah. Uh, the harmonica signed by Graham. Wow. Uh, here's Stephen and Graham's guitar picks here. Wow. This is signed by three-fourths of Motley Crue. Tommy Lee was somewhere else, I guess, for the meet group. <laughs> Stop making rap records. <laughs> this is signed by Ozzy. Yeah. This is signed by Foreigner. This is signed by the Scorpions. Yeah. And behind you, it's a little Elvis uh, Presley shrine. This is uh, Elvis's drummer, DJ Fontana. He signed the drum head and the drumstick for me. Uh, James Burton is his guitar player, and DJ also signed this card. But the most valuable thing is a concert used 1968 Elvis guitar pick. Sweet. Of course, some action figures here, as oh, they yeah. call them. And we keep going. Well, we might as well finish off the tour. Sure. This Dig is, the rug, man. This is the gym. And the gym is where all the rock videos are, are housed. Okay. Yeah, Cause, 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 well, yeah, it goes to M and the rest of them are... are, are. But uh, yeah, we never have to leave our house. We got everything from a tanning bed to a steam room to a Pretty sauna. Much. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, but basically, uh, when I'm working out, I, I don't like to think about what I'm doing, so I just throw on something and... Some good music. Terrific. Well, again, Lenny, this is this is <laughs> probably the most impressive rock collection I think I've ever seen. And I'm not talking about rocks, I'm talking about rock music memorabilia collection. Like even more so than most hard rocks cafes. Oh, and of course we got a drum kit back here. Oh yeah. Which I will have to partake on in just a little bit if you let me. So so yeah, so we got everything we need, man. It's just yeah, it's just like the ultimate rock and roll house it makes mine look just <laughs> Like, not even like the water closet space for a And I got a lot of stuff. They call me junk man for that particular reason. But, man, I'm telling you. Also, ultimate impressive. And, uh, again, you know, uh, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for letting me uh, tour your, your humble abode with you and uh, look at this massive collection and just uh, be blown away by it. Well, I ho hope you enjoyed it. And um, uh, probably next time you come, there'll be some new stuff. <laughs> I'm sure there will be. All right, Lenny, thanks a lot. Because Christmas is coming. Exactly. Well, thanks a lot, Lenny. Yep.